your turn to set the bet. What? what where? Am? Go on. What? I, Say the thing. Say it. I, I don't... I, I don't, don't remember, remember how, how I, I got, got here. here. What's, What's going, going on? on? Why does that man have a watermelon? And so on and so forth. Look, Brady, you've already anteed up, so why don't you just start the betting? Okay. Um, well, I'll bet two dollars to start. Well, what do you reckon, uh, Mr. Triangle or uh, Mr. Accounts or...? Well, Mr. Martin, in my professional accounting opinion, um, let's see... Uh, Mr. Brady's 2 USD is worth approximately nothing. Cash can't help you here, kid. Okay, th then I check. Okay, I'll keep the ball rolling then. Uh, how about a couple of birthdays? Uh, which one's to be exact, Mr. Martin? Hmm, how about the fifth? And, uh, you know, the one that my dad didn't come to as a teen. Ah, very nice choice. Wait, wait, birthdays? Mr. Martin starts the betting low. Hold on. Wait. I don't remember how I got here or who you are. Holy shit! You're betting memories! Shit, Sherlock. Among other things, yes. You can, at this table, wager anything that is truly yours. Uh, your ability to see, your ability to hear, your right to speak, even appendages, livestock, but the most valuable thing are memories. Except for your life, of course, but that's going all in. Okay, then, then, then what's, what's with, with the, the bananas, bananas or, or, or the, the watermelon? watermelon? Well, everybody, you know, has their own thing. Martin's bets are represented by fruits, mine by chess pieces, and yours by tools and other industrial implements. Yeah, it's a, uh, no, what, what do you call it? Uh, a metaphor. Very good, Mr. Martin. Well, Brady, it's your turn to start the bet. Okay, Mr. Triangle, I bet. My pride. Very nice. Oh, that's good, that's good. All right, all right, Brady. I'll match your high bet by betting one of Martin's old memories that I happened to accrue a couple rounds back. You're on. That's three queens, that's three queens. I win, yes. Uh, all right, Congratulations, all right. Brady. You won exactly one round of poker. Whatever, whatever. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd be careful with those. Whatever. Nice. seriously can't remember. What? It was the one you killed a kid and you were wearing a clown mask. Oh yeah, that one, yeah. Wait, yeah, wait, thanks. wait, wait, how can you be okay with murder? Eh, it happens to the best of us. Wait, wait. dying or killing? Well, why do you think we're here? <laughs> what does that even mean? How many more of these are there? And, and how come I can't see your memories? It's time to ante up. <laughs> You, ki you killed someone! You killed someone! Who? What? Don't have anything else to ante, Martin? Well, I don't have anything small left, so... Guess I'm going big. A watermelon? Uh, well, metaphorically speaking, it's my dog. Don't worry, Martin. I won't let a hair on his head. That is, as long as you win. 
You know, seeing as you're already betting so much that is dear to you, why don't you put in a little bit more? I, I, I guess you're right. All right, then. I bet my voice. What does that mean? Well, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. Actually, you'd be mistaken, Martin. Three kings. And so all the spoils come to me. Not least of which is Marty's poor old dog. Well, you've been a good puppy. No! Back! <laughs> I know what this is. I know what he was doing. He was... The killings, the, the rituals, they were for you! You're a demon! No shit, Sherlock! I want out! I want my memories back! Are you sure about that, kid? Yes! You sought me out, too. One of many trying to take my place. Mr. Triangle, all in.